Hi everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and I'm going to do a quick video review of Elementary OS Luna. Um, now this uh, operating system has been out uh, for oh, a few months now, um, not quite a year yet. Uh, and actually the next version of Elementary OS, codenamed ISIS, is in development right now. Hopefully sometime summer 2014 we will uh, we will see that released um, but anyway I kinda just uh, I don't know how you want to say it I just kinda fell into learning about this OS I had heard about it previously but never paid it much uh, attention because I always thought well you know a name like elementary it's a real basic uh, no frills for uh, beginners to Linux type of distribution um, but uh, my recent laptop project I wanted to put on a, uh, a Linux operating system where I could just load it on there and not have to fool with you know adding a bunch of applications tweaking the appearance all that kind of stuff I just wanted to load it and go so I thought I'd give it a shot well after I started playing around with it I found that hey this is uh, you know yeah it's easy to use but uh, there's a lot of function here um, you know this isn't just a distribution for those new to Linux this is uh, just as good for the uh, the more experienced users um, elementary Luna is based on Ubuntu 12.04 long-term release so you know basically anything you can do with that Ubuntu release you can do uh, with elementary OS um, so you know however simple or or complex you want to make it um, for the most part any app that'll work on uh, on Ubuntu is going to work here so uh, you know there's a lot of functionality built into it um, but you know, okay, so let's let's talk about the uh, the distribution itself. First thing, right out of the box, it's a great looking application or uh, operating system. Um, you know, this is really the first operating system where I've loaded it up and not immediately wanted to go and change the icons, change the layout, all that kind of stuff. I I, I really like the look of this one. Um, we've got down here at the bottom. A dock where you can put your most uh, commonly used applications. Um, I haven't really, I haven't tweaked that any yet. So um, you know what what is in the dock is what what came from the factory in the dock. Um, but anyway, you can put your most used applications there. Across the top, we've got a taskbar that reminds you of the GNOME taskbar. And ignore that pop-up like I said I just uploaded this haven't done any updates or anything like that uh, uh, so what you're seeing is uh, you know what you get um, but anyway like I said you got this taskbar across the top very gnome ish um, got an application launcher here um, you can either do a and like kind of an icon type of view or uh, a menu type however you want to go about it um, date and time here in the middle and if you click on that it'll pop up like a mini calendar for you um, over here on and off um, user accounts are you online offline all that kind of stuff uh, internet connections um, this right here is for the music player so you got a like a quick launch for the music player and then uh, of course your your currently running applications will have little pop-ups over here you can see that's for my um, screen recorder um, if anybody's curious I use one called simple screen recorder if you've never used it give it a try very easy to use um, and uh, very effective too um, so hey, like I said, uh, really nice looking uh, 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 operating system right out of the box. Um, all of your system settings are in one place in a thing, you know, 
crazy crazy uh, me you know it's called system settings you know if you use like KDE or some of the other distributions where you go to one place for certain system settings and then to another place for other settings and then somewhere else for some even more settings with elementary they all are right here makes it very very nice and easy to work with um, you know most of your typical uh, settings you'll find here um, uh, if you click on the desktop here you can change wallpapers docs dock appearance some hot corners comes with a real nice selection of wallpapers um, you know there's there's some distributions that uh, you know you get a few wallpapers that it comes with but they're they're not all that exciting or interesting but uh, there's some really nice ones that come with uh, with elementary and of course you know you can go and add your own um, you can go and change the appearance of your dock um, and then hot corners you can go in and get and set up um, hot corners if you're a fan of hot corners um, some people like them some people don't uh, you know but uh, you know you can set them up um, down here on keyboard uh, you can set up um, you know custom uh, hotkeys for uh, if you're a person that's a, a keyboard oriented kind of person set up some hotkeys and you know right here we've got this is all the default ones um, but uh, you know if you want to set up some, uh, some personalized some ones go ahead and do that um, so pretty much everything else on this star, uh, system settings is uh, pretty self-explanatory um, one thing you'll notice with all of the applications and and the the boot of the operating system very snappy very quick um, and that's kind of the hallmark of elementary is that everything quick to launch easy to work with um, I mean if you look here you know you know uh, all these applications I mean boom they're there they open up you know almost instantly um, so it's uh, you know, very nice easy to work with um, let me talk about some of the default applications that uh, that come with this um, pretty much everything resolves around the philosophy of fast light and easy to use um, go up and I'll just go through the menu here um, you know calculator it's got its own screenshot uh, scratch is the um, of course I haven't worked with anything yet but it's the default uh, text editor um, graphics it comes with shot well uh, this this viewer here a scanner internet it comes with Midori um, which isn't a bad browser um, it's definitely snappy and they've tweaked it uh, to to match the appearance of the other applications in uh, within elementary I myself I'm a chrome and chromium fan um, so I added that just because that's that's my browser of choice um, Geary mail if you've never used Geary this is a lightweight fast easy to use uh, IMAP um, uh, email application um, I'm actually working on a, uh, a a video and written review of Geary so keep an eye out for that um, once I get it done I'll get links up on on this page uh, or on this video as well uh, empathy internet messaging under office they just got their document viewer and the calendar um, yeah let me talk a minute about the calendar because it's like the one application that really disappointed me because it, it really doesn't do anything I mean you can go and add you know different events on this calendar but I mean that's basically it you can't 
sync with like Google Calendar or anything like that, which to me that would be the way to go. If you can sync uh, events with Google Calendar, you know, now when you add an event onto this calendar, it's automatically, you know, if you've got, you know, other desktops or laptop, it's automatically going to pop up there. If you've got an Android, or not necessarily just Android, but any smartphone that is, that is, uh, uh, linked to Google calendars it's it's there so I mean that to me that kind of uh, sharing of information really needs to be added into this calendar and also if you get like um, uh, you know event requests via email um, you know you can't automatically save that from your email you got to come in here and manually type the uh, the event in. so I think that the calendar needs a lot of work now, having said that, I have read that in ISIS that the calendar app is it's going to be tweaked and modified. So hopefully we'll see that kind of functionality. But right now, like I said, that this thing really doesn't do anything. Um, anyway, while I'm talking about Office, the one, and I'm, I'm not sure whether you want to take this away as a good thing or bad thing, um, there is no office suite or um, you know writing program uh, office program that sort of thing um, you know library office is probably the most popular um, Linux office suite that is that comes with most distributions um, so certainly you could add that one or you know add Kingsoft Office or Open Office, whatever Office Suite uh, works for you, or you know maybe you just need to do, you know the occasional uh, letter or that sort of thing. Then maybe something like uh, Abby Word will work out for you. Um, so I mean, there's no real, like I said, no real Office Suite added. Um, I, I guess the 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 thought process on that was just leave it up to the end user to decide which, um, which which office suite or if they even need an office suite you know what to add um, uh, let's see uh, the movie player player um, I believe it is a fork of the gnome movie player once again really simple um but easy to use um you know click on movie click on open boom you're you're ready to go um you know some basic uh um tweaks that you can do but nothing extensive but i mean it's a movie player what, what do you need to really do you're just gonna watch a movie um same with the music player um like i said you got a little key up here so that you can start and stop easily from the desktop um, it'll pull up your playlist and everything that you got saved on the uh, on uh, in your in your uh, in your music files a neat thing that you got here is that while you're while you've got a playlist running um, you can click on this similar and it'll find um, online it'll find similar songs for you um, which I think is a pretty neat feature um, haven't really done much with it yet because um, usually uh, when I'm either at my desktop or the laptop uh, music is not a top priority for me I like it dead quiet while I'm working uh, anyway, simple screen recorder. I added that. Uh, that's what I used for recording my videos, and then also Handbrake. So I'm in the process of make of making a, uh, a computer video library, getting all my DVDs moved over to uh, to a hard drive so that we can access it from every TV and computer in the house. Oh, system tools. Um, basically, all your tweaks are found here. Your terminals here. 
um, the update manager software center software center I'm not sure whether this is the Ubuntu Software Center or they've maybe forked the Ubuntu Software Center or or what but it's not bad but if you notice let me start it up again it, it's slow to load just like the Ubuntu Center um, like I said I'm not sure if it's the exact same Software Center but again not a real long time to load but but it is kinda slow um, Hopefully that's something they're going to work on in the future. Terminal, you know, nothing special about the file manager is their own file manager. Um, it's got a, it's got basic features, but um, you know what they've got here is very functional. A um, couple different views. Um, you can do this kind of column view, which is uh, which is nice. Um, or you know if you like that now um, you can also do multiple tabs which which is very useful if you've got to go and you know you're working with different uh, different file folders that sort of thing um, one thing I wish that they did include is a um, uh, a dual pane mode um, for those of you that have used KDE their dolphin file manager I love using that thing in, um, in in the dual pane mode. If you've got to transfer files from one folder to another or one hard drive to another, it is really easy to work with. Um, I I wish that that feature was included in here, um, but you know Nautilus and and a lot of the uh, a lot of the other file managers don't have that feature either. Um, except for for uh, you know, for most users, uh, this is probably m not only more than adequate, but uh, very functional as well. Um, okay, I think that basically covers everything that I want to talk about. Uh, like I said, by itself, it's a really nice looking application or uh, uh, operating system. Does not really need any tweaks to make it look nice. Um, however, I am going to work up a follow up video to this one that will be um, uh, some of the mods that you can actually make to this because there's a pretty good community support for this operating system. Some really uh, some neat looking. Um, uh, icons that you can switch to, um, some other themes, um, some extra applications. So I'm going to go and uh, tweak this desktop to the way that I would I like it for my uh, for my workflow, and then uh, you know I'll do a do a follow up video, and uh, you guys can let me know what you think. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, Give me a big old thumbs up if you liked it. As always, leave comments if uh, if you got something to to say about the video. If you got a a recommendation for a future video, I'd love to hear about it. Um, and uh, thanks a lot, and see you on the next video.